Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to highlight some of the key differences between a relational database and a NoSQL database. A NoSQL database has horizontal scaling, while a relational database has vertical scaling. By horizontal, basically what that means is that you can add more machines to the pool of resources you already have, while a vertical scaling basically means you just add more resources to the existing machine you have, like add more memory or add more CPU power. With a NoSQL database, the design is simpler in comparison to a relational database. With a NoSQL database, it's usually high availability. What that means is that the resources has to be able to be available 24 hours a day and usually 365 days a year. In comparison, relational databases are not as robust. The data structure in NoSQL databases make them much more faster in comparison to a relational database. With a NoSQL database, the structure is usually decentralized, while a relational database has a more centralized structure. In a NoSQL database, it supports a read-write scalability, while the relational database only supports a read scalability. With a NoSQL database, the data can come from a variety of location, while in a relational database, the data is usually from one or fewer location. The NoSQL database supports very simple query language, while relational databases support a powerful query language like SQL. The schema in a NoSQL database is flexible, while a relational database schema is fixed. NoSQL databases deals with high velocity data in comparison to relational databases that deals with low velocity data. By velocity, I mean the speed at which the data is being processed. NoSQL databases can handle unstructured and semi-structured data, while relational databases only handle structured data. With a NoSQL database, there is no single point of failure because it is decentralized, whereas in the relational databases, there is a single point of failure due to its centralized nature. NoSQL databases deals with a large volumes of data, while relational databases deals with moderate volumes of data. Let's take a look at the key difference between a typical relational database management system like Oracle or MySQL and Cassandra. With a Cassandra database, the data is unstructured because it's a NoSQL database, whereas relational database has structured data. With Cassandra, the schema is flexible, Again, relational databases deals with a fixed schema. Cassandra, the table is a list of nested key value pairs. That is rows times column key, and then you have the column key value. Whereas in a relational database, the table is basically an array of arrays, that is row times the columns. In Cassandra, the data is held in key spaces, where in relational database, the data is held in a database. In Cassandra, relationships are represented by using collections, while in relational database management system, you represent relationship using foreign keys and table joins. In Cassandra, a row is a unit of replication, while in relational database, a row is an individual record.